So you want to do a direct mail marketing campaign, but you have no clue on where to set your offer prices at. What's good, everybody? It's Michael Alder here from TakingActionToday.com, and in this video, I'm going to break down for you exactly what to offer in your direct mail campaigns to get the best results and get you positioned properly to start flipping for fast profits. But before I get into that content piece, I want you to check the resources below this video after the video, whereas you could get stocks for free, get strategies to scale your land business and jump on a coaching call if you're actually serious about building out a portfolio of cash flowing land. So let's dive into this here. Without a doubt, direct mail marketing is a fantastic way to get deals at a deeply discounted prices, but people always say, where do I start? How do I start? How do I structure this? And what should my offer price be? So we're going to follow my model. And I'm not saying my model is the right model, but it works for me. So that's what I'm going to share with you here. Let's focus on cheap off the grid properties. And in this video, let's just talk about Arizona. So let's say we target Apache County, Arizona, and we find that one acre properties on all the major land investing sites are being sold for about $1,200, let's say, per acre. That's their listed price, so they're probably selling anywhere from $1,000 to $1,200 across the board. And if you finance them, you're going to get about double that. So we want to focus on the listed wholesale price of $1,000 to $1,200. Next, what is our direct mail offer going to be? I would say go to $1 to $200, maybe even $250 at most, to go ahead and offer to purchase these properties at. So you want to be at about 20% roughly, in my opinion, of the listed price is what you want to offer in direct mail marketing. So let's break this down here on what this is actually going to cost you. I use a service called OffersToOwners.com. They have a full service mailer where they handle everything for you for a dollar an envelope. They put the offer out there. They pull the data for you. They mail it to the client and you have a minimum buy-in of 500 offers. So 500 offers cost $500. That's the minimum. So we'll figure we're going to set aside 500 bucks right off the bat. We're going to target Apache County, Arizona. We're going to send out 500 offers to out of state owners. We're not going to waste our time with people that live in the state because the odds are better when you go after people that live out of state. 500 offers to out of state owners that own one acre properties in Apache County, Arizona. And we're going to offer $200 across the board. Out of these first 500 offers, you should get three to five signed contracts back with people saying, absolutely, I'll sell my pr property for that price. I just went out of it. We're good to go. You're going to get these letters back. You're going to go online and you're going to check the county treasurer. You're going to do a little research. You're going to make sure it's not a bunch of back taxes owed. You're also going to pull the GPS coordinates and their software that you could use to do that. You're going to check in on the property, make sure it really is off the grid and it's not a total dump site or something crazy that you don't want to own. After that, you prepare a deed. You send it out to the seller for them to sign, notarize, mail it back to you. When they mail it back to you, you take that deed and you send it to the county with, I believe, a check for $25 in that area. I almost said $2,500. That'd be absurd. $25 to go ahead and file the deed. Now you own the property. So let's say you were lucky. You picked up five properties off of the first mailer. You spent $200 on each one of those properties, so you're invested $1,000 in purchasing the property. Let's keep it really real. You had filing fees as well, which is another $125, so we're at 11, we'll call it $1,100 because I don't like thinking too much. And then we're going to add in the $500 that we spent on the direct mail marketing campaign collectively. We're into this for about $1,600 to own five properties. There's five properties. We just said you could wholesale for $1,000 to $1,200 a pop. Let's say you wholesale all of them for $1,000. bucks. Your $1,600 just turns into five grand. If you do it at $1,200, it turns into six grand. If you sell or finance them and hold a note, you have pieces of paper that are worth over $10,000 right there on a $1,600 investment. So I ask you, What's actually holding you back from getting started? Now, there's some cons to this. What if you send out 500 mailers and absolutely nothing happens? This can happen. Don't panic. Here's the interesting part. I have found that I usually get a direct response of three to five accepted offers right off the bat. 
I usually pick up another three to five anywhere from, we'll just call it three months down the road. People will circle back and want to sell me their property at a later date. Something happens in life and they say, hey, I could actually really use 200 bucks right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit this individual back, see if they still want to buy the property. So you will actually pick up more off of those mail campaigns. But what if you get zero response? Maybe you got a bad list. Luck of the draw, it happens. This is a business. It's the cost of doing business. What if you mailed the same county again, targeting another 500 at the same price point just to test again? And you got lucky. You got five off of that one. So let's say the same exact scenario, but you had an additional $500 in expenses and buying a bunk list. You're in the hole, a collective, what, $2,100. So out of $2,100, you now have five properties still that you acquired from this mailer that you're going to sell for a thousand dollars a pop that's five grand you're still way ahead of the game so take that into consideration this is the way to do direct mail marketing acquire properties and flip for fat profits don't overlook this now if you're scared and you just want to get some property right away and get up and going follow my targeting wholesaler model go out connect with wholesalers, purchase properties right away, turn around, resell them on seller financing terms, get your feet wet, and you're good to go. It is as simple as that. Wherever you're at in your land investing journey, go ahead and shoot me a text at 440-678-1151. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, check the resources below this video. And if you want to jump on a coaching call, there will be a link down there for that as well. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.